Pop culture has touted Elon Musk as some sort of eccentric heavyweight genius with humble beginnings. But this is demonstrably false. Elon Musk was born in South Africa, where he claims he grew up extremely poor. But his family owned an emerald mine. As a teenager, Elon would trade emeralds for cash in New York City. And his father bragged how they had so much money we couldn't even close our safe. Musk claims to have had about $100,000 of student loan debt, but he received a full scholarship to the University of Pennsylvania, where he bought a 10-bedroom frat house with his friend Adeo Resi and ran an illegal nightclub. The pop culture claim is that Elon has an IQ of 155, but this has never been tested, and after being accepted into Stanford for PhD studies, he dropped out after two days. After dropping out, Elon began his first business venture with his brother Kimball, Zip2, which was essentially a digital version of the Yellow Pages. The brothers received tens of thousands of dollars from their parents, and yet Elon denies this. An associate of Elon's father, Greg Curry, got involved to bring in investors. But Elon's code was no good, so they had to hire on professional coders to rewrite everything. Zip2 was then sold for $307 million to Compaq, who later shut it down without ever earning a profit. Elon made $22 million, bought a $1 million McLaren F1 supercar, which made mainstream news, before he totaled the uninsured vehicle. Musk then went on to create an online bank, X.com. He partnered with banking expert Harris Fricker, Edward Ho, and Christopher Payne. All three ended up leaving the company after accusing Elon of lying to the media about the quality of their product. Elon claims he founded PayPal. Before the company was named PayPal, it was known as Confinity. It was founded in 1998 by Peter Thiel and Max Levchin. After losing millions of dollars, Elon's X.com was bought by Confinity in a merger in 2000. All Musk contributed at Confinity was his own power struggle. He made himself CEO and pushed to change the name to X.com. The executive team successfully petitioned to fire Musk while he was away on vacation. Part of Musk's resignation agreement stipulated that all references to founders of the company will be removed from their website, allowing Elon to claim credit, which so far is all he has ever achieved. Peter Thiel then rebranded the company as PayPal, went public, and sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. Elon made $180 million from the deal, which he then invested into Tesla, SpaceX, and failed company SolarCity. Elon falsely claims to be the founder of Tesla. Tesla was founded in 2003 by Mark Tarpening and Martin Eberhard, who developed the Tesla Roadster. When Tesla Motors began looking for venture capital, they approached Elon Musk, who had the fake credibility as PayPal's co-founder. Musk joined with the condition that he be named chairman of the board. In emails, Musk was upset that the media was not giving him credit for Tesla Motors and went after Martin Eberhard, replacing him as CEO. He then forced Eberhard out of the company and rewrote the company's history to have himself listed as an original co-founder. Martin Eberhard, the man behind the Tesla Roadster, was promised the first Roadster off the assembly line. But Musk screwed him over on that as well and sent that car into space. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> so who is Elon Musk? Elon describes his father as being an evil, abusive man. His father, Errol Musk, has been accused of being a pedophile and fathered a child with his stepdaughter, who is 42 years younger than him. This spoiled, narcissistic failure, son of accused pedophile, wants to put computer chips in everyone's brain so that we can merge with artificial intelligence. His girlfriend is now bragging how this could all lead to a communist utopia. And strangely enough, former Nazi and head of NASA, Werner von Braun, 
predicted a man named Elon would conquer Mars in a 1952 novel that he wrote. Which is odd, because NASA has partnered with Elon SpaceX to work towards colonizing Mars. Elon Musk, like everything else in today's modern society, is a fraud, a fake genius, just like fake philanthropist Bill Gates, brought to you by the fake news. Here's a pro tip for dealing with the mainstream media and all of pop culture. Assume it's a lie and research everything. Immediately after the first minute, every single line of that first minute is fucking amazing. Here, I have it for you too. That I... first minute, it's amazing. Everything he says is amazing. Because now this is after after everyone on the internet is calling, you know, calling it fake. It looks so fake. It's the, the fakest looking shit ever. And he says it himself. He says, it, you, it, know it, it's it, real. It, it, you know it's real because it looks so fake. What, were your, what, what was going through your mind? How, how amazed were you to see your roadster up there with Starman <laughs> uh, just cruising along with the Blue Planet? And how long will we be getting live views, do you think, from the car? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Um, and, you know, the, the, the colors all look, look kind of weird in space. There's no atmospheric occlusion. You, don't, you know, like, everything looks too crisp. Um, and, um, but, we you know, we didn't really test any of those materials for you know, is it space hardened or whatever, you know? So it just has the same seats that like a normal car has. It's just literally a normal car in space, which I kind of like the absurdity of that. Yeah. <laughs> he said it looks so fake. He said it. So he can't blame everyone else for saying it because he said it. So it it sounds so prepared. It's, it sounds like, dude, you got to say this because it looked like shit. I mean, you, did you really launch a just a regular car? And he says this in the first minute. He says it. He says, we didn't test the materials for it. He says, we didn't test the materials for anything or whatever. It's not like, it's not space hardened or whatever. We just, <laughs> it just got seats in it. And it's just like, uh, it's literally, it's literally uh, just a regular car in space. It's literally just a car in space. Yeah, like a, like an 80000 He didn't even right? sound like he's, and then I looked into him and I, I realized, he'll play that first minute. Just play that for it. Try to, it's try to find him talking about it. I it's the press conference. Press conference. No, no, it's the press SpaceX uh, Roadster press conference. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we have way better CGI if it was fake. Come on, everything um, that's coming out of his mouth. And, you know, the, the, the colors all look, look kind of weird in space. There's no atmospheric occlusion. You know, you know the, like, everything looks too crisp. Um, and, um, <laughs> but we, you know, we didn't really test any of those materials for, you know, as it's space hardened or whatever, you know. So it just has the same seats that, like, a normal car has. It's just literally a normal car in space. Yeah. Which I kind of like the absurdity of that. What is it? Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous, dude. It's just well, ridiculous. How about these boosters? So, 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 anyways, so then I started looking into him, and it turns out, according to the stuff that I found, it's, it turns out that Tesla has never made any money. It's, it's going down the tubes. But since it's a green thing, the government gave him $2 billion. So right there, I'm thinking, oh shit, he's the government gave him two billion dollars, and um, he's got a thing called Solar City, which I don't know what it is exactly. It sounds like you know just a city with where everyone has solar panels, mm -hmm. but apparently, apparently, uh, that's a financial disaster, right? So if that's true, financial disaster number two, right? And then he's got another project, another green project. It's called um, fuck. It's like a hyperloop. Yes. Like a hyperloop, and LA you look does. into that, and people are going, "That shit ain't gonna work. That, how's Frisco? that gonna work?" People are breaking that down. So then you, I look into it a little more, and then it turns out he's a computer game pro programmer. He's not a scientist. So I thought, "Oh, I thought he was a scientist." 
No, he's a, he sold his first video game at like 12 or something, and he made a little bit of money. And then... Um, at 12, and any then money he, is a lot of money. And then he put together... He, he either bought a, a huge portion of PayPal? PayPal, or it was he invented it. I'm not sure. I think he invented it, but... Yeah. So once I saw that, how fake that SpaceX footage looked, and I found out after the government's there's some some reports that he got four billion dollars from the government taxpayers money so uh but i think two is probably uh, i'll go with two because i heard two as well it was on some news report it could all be bullshit but as soon as he's getting money from the government it all made sense to me i'm like oh okay i see what's going on everyone's losing faith in nasa so they do they prop up Elon Musk, yeah. boom, and since, since since Tesla, unless it's bullshit, and maybe Tesla's making a lot of money, but since they're, you know, on the brink of disaster, he's launching that Roadster up there, that could save his company, right? Everyone's going to want that Roadster. It's like a big publicity stunt. 100%. 100%. Now, there is a moment, and your buddy, uh, your uh, Eric Dubai put out this video, and there's a moment where people think there's a glitch where there's this bright flash, right? And then there seems to be something inside. Yeah, it's like the, the, the car was inside the rocket. That's what that was. Like it's well, supposed to be inside the rocket, and then they're supposed to, it's supposed to, the explode. rocket, yeah, the rocket the, explodes. The, the hatch explodes, thus putting yeah. the car into space. And how fake did that look? Well, that's the question. Is that... Is that on the ground in a in a set studio, which there's a picture of the car in this studio? For sure. For or sure. is that when the hatch explodes and that's the hatch? Ex when the ha when the hatch explodes, the camera should be shaking. There should be a gigantic explosion and rumbling and and um, Go disruption. Just before that, dude. People Go. think that's real, dude. People think that's that looks like Ted and uh, um, Tim and Eric. Just before that. Dude. That looks like Tim and Eric. Here we go. Yes. This see, is it that moment right there? This is what we're talking about. You know? Man, I, it's scary that people believe this. It's scary. And they, they, they're rooting for it. They're like, yeah, this is evidence. This is enough evidence that it's real. Look at that. Come on, man. Come on. Jesus Christ. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. People believe that shit. What would you We're expect big, to see besides this? Big trouble. That's fake as shit. There's no stars anywhere. No, it's just fake. When you look at... When you look at um, enough CGI, admitted CGI photos of the Earth, and you're obsessed with that shit, and you've seen so many, so many, you're, you're seeing the exact same thing. We're basically uh, experts at spotting fake pictures of the Earth from space. We're looking at that shit all the time. It's like, who, who's, who's better uh, at, at checking fake IDs than someone that works at a check cashing store? Yeah, That's true. They're looking at IDs all goddamn day. They can spot like fake bills easy. Like a normal person can't spot a fake counterfeit, a, a fake bill or a counterfeit bill as good as someone who works at a bank. Someone who's working with money all the time. As soon as they, they could tell a counterfeit quick. Boom! Yeah. They go, this one's off. This is not like that. It just senses with them. Yeah. And when you see this shit over and over again, where they're admitting it on the NASA website, they're admitting that it's CGI composites, it's strips of data, they are admitting it because it does look so fake. They're like, hell yeah, that looks fake. You know, you did, they had to admit it. They have to admit it. it's a CGI co composite. They're, they're admitting it all the goddamn time. So when you see, oh, this is the real one, that looks just like the shit you said was fake. Yeah. It's the same shit. It doesn't look any different. It's the exact same thing. It, it looked fake, so you had to admit it was fake, and now this shit that you're saying is real, you're saying that now it's real, but it's the same fake shit. No, I got you. Uh, it's interesting, dude. The proof has got to be just irrefutable for me. It's got to, you can't just say, hey, here's a picture. It could be real. It's For me, it's not, hey, it could be real, man. You should believe it. Why does everything have to be fake? It isn't like that. For me, it's like, it's fake until you fucking prove it to me with irrefutable evidence. It's fake, because you've been lying this whole time. So why would I, why would I trust a liar? You know, you know, some guy just lying all the fucking time to you all the time, and then like, ah, why don't you trust him? You don't trust him on anything. Like some, your friend, don't trust him. I know he's lied about everything, but what makes you think? Can you prove that he's lying about this? Can you prove? 
You, you wouldn't, it wouldn't even be about that. It's like, you've yeah. lied about so much shit. Right, right. This is so easily fakeable. I look at it a whole different way. Like, it's fake until it's uh, undeniably truthful. This first clip is from SpaceX. I'm sure all of you remember how alleged space rocket launches actually arc and fall back down towards the Earth. I have definitely shared these videos many times, but you'll often read in the comments where the globe propagandist claims that the rocket has to level out to get into space. It's nonsense. There's absolutely no evidence supporting this claim, and the altimeter information provided by NASA contradicts the assertion. SpaceX launches are no different than NASA, but this clip will prove it. There's the space scam rocket, and it also arcs back downward, just like NASA. Of course, the propagandist is rearing to say that the SpaceX rocket has to arc downward to get into space. So what's the problem? Well, the SpaceX rocket had a camera on it. The rocket turns horizontally, but the camera angle does not change. Oops, SpaceX sucks at CGI as well, but it's pretty hard to keep all the lies straight, I imagine. The next proof is quick and probably not the best one out there, but check out this SpaceX launch. It looks like the bird, or whatever it is, actually goes through the rocket. I don't know what to make of it, but it's fascinating. Are there actually SpaceX rocket launches? Of course there are, but what we see on television is primarily CGI. Keep pressing on. We have not heard confirmation. That stuff is flat. Satellite has separated. Oh, yeah. Nice view. Satellite number nine has separated. We're down to one to go. You want to think the world is flat? Go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat...
They were learning from what they were taught. They are teaching what they were taught. They never thought to look. Like I always say, before you ever got a chance to ask a question about your reality, the answer was already given and put in front of you, compounded, imprinted, psychologically conditioned into your head. About your reality into your head. A question about your reality into your head. too bad. There's no point in using our fuel. Rotate 360 degrees. What are you doing? Ocean landing.
Force rotation is 67, 68 RPM. Achieve enough margin to bring it all the way back to land. It's not possible. When something is important enough, you do it even if love is not in your favor. This may sound corny, but love is the answer. What do you do? This is no time for... There are many, many simulations. These simulations are, you might as well call them reality, or you could call them multiverse. No controls touched at any point during the entire journey. That stuff is flat! It's, it's still tripping me out. <laughs> I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> <laughs>